Yeah, I was going to ask you about uh, you playing with Justin Moore. I was reading how you uh, played with him for 13 years. I'm, I'm a fan of that guy's music. I've always enjoyed it. How did that <clears throat> partnership come about? Oh, man, he, he's great. And I, his um, his last album is one of my favorite albums that's, that's come out in a long time. Um, I was playing at the Tin Roof uh, when I was at Belmont, and he had just signed a record deal, and he was looking to... Um, uh, hire a guitar player so they called the school of music and they sent him out to watch a guy that I'm really good friends with named Matt Revere um, and he met me on accident he already had a keyboard player but he talked to me and um, he offered the gig to Matt and I um, Matt chose to finish school and he, he's doing great now I think he plays for Carrie Underwood but um, I was just like wait a second you're going on tour with Skinner I'm in I don't I didn't even think about anything else going on <laughs> let's just go uh, he said, well, do you know any guitar players? And I said, I know the best of the best of the best. So I, so I called Roger Coleman, uh, Pike County native. Um, <laughs> uh, at the time, he was substitute teaching, um, which if you know Roger, that's hilarious. And because uh, he, he is, he, that guy is just born born to rock. Um, and he's not an academic type at all. And so he, he just said, they're going on tour with Skinner, huh? Well, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> and uh, thirteen years later, it's it's a it's an enterprise for for Justin Rogers still out there. He's band leader, and they're they're doing great. So it 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 was it was quite a trip. I've been really enjoying your uh, solo stuff as well, though. What made you want to uh, you know take on a career as a solo artist? Well, th- thanks for saying so, and I appreciate you asking. Um, I, to me, it was never a one or the other. I just uh, I kind of needed a lot to feel um, musically fed. So I um, had I done my solo career first, I would have missed being able to tour and do country music with people and play with a band and be in the pocket and just play that role. Um, and, but I did the country thing first, and I always wanted to have more ways to uh, some let some music that was kind of stirring inside of me um, come out. So I found myself somewhat limited in what I could could do in a country music setting and um, I started finding ways that some of the compositions I was making could intersect with uh, larger audiences and I could do it in a way that made smart career sense it was still a really really big risk still is um but i i just kind of felt like i'd hit the limit of how i could affect people um as a country touring musician and i felt like i got to a point where i had a lot to offer um listeners outside of that genre and with stuff music that i'm in a little bit more uh control of so that kind of led to a few business decisions, creating some relationships, and built. I built it for about five or six years uh, before I, I made the leap. And um, everybody I was working with was extremely supportive and generous. Justin was really supportive, um, and it, it was. It's been a really, really blessed transition. <laughs> 